Okay. This is Chris. This is Chris Childs getting ready to perform on Drunk Sports Talk. One, two. Dog, I was like, yo, this is bugged the fuck out. Like th- this story bugged me out. This hit a couple of days ago. If if y'all been under a rock, Russell Wilson was cut by the Broncos. Historic an historic cut, man, because the Broncos are on the hook for 80, 85 or 86 million and that cap space. That shit is insane. I couldn't believe that shit. All right, boom. We all have heard the stories of how Wilson was acting, you know, diva-ish. I don't know if that's true, but they were out there. You know, he had his issues with Pete Carroll in Seattle. You know, he wanted to be more responsible. He wanted to throw more. He wanted to be, like, more responsible for the winning of Seattle, hence the whole campaign of let Russ cook. You know what I'm saying? Um, A lot of people feel that Russ started falling off because he wanted to be more of a celebrity, you know, like the, you know, the, the, the Jay Beyonce, the, the J-Lo Ben Affleck shit or whatever, you know, with him and Sierra, you know, his whole issues with Sean Payton while well, I'm jumping ahead. He gets traded to the Broncos, right? Crazy package. I think Denver traded it. Uh, Denver had like three three or four draft picks, mm-hmm. um, some pick swaps. Just a crazy package, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then he gets cut. $85 fucking million dollars in that cap space. Now, they don't have to pay him $85 million in cap space. I think it's like, I want to say it's like 39 or $40 million, 39 because, you know, salary was guaranteed for 2024. Yeah. That's still, so for you for you not to like somebody so much that you're willing to be on the hook for that's gonna ham 86 million 85 whatever it is in dead cap space is insane my dude oh, um insane. the beef you know you know and and listen first year with denver under uh hackett who's now with the jets right aaron, aaron Rodgers boy he's terrible man um i want i want to pull up his stats you have his stats in front of you is his stats with um oh yeah i got him right here Okay, yeah, the worst season in the year. He threw 16 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. They went five and 12. But he turned around in the second year. Mm-hmm. They went seven and eight. They started off decent, then they tailed off a little bit. They got blown the fuck out. Remember that historical game last year? They got blown the fuck out. Oh, by man. Um, oh, yeah. But he threw for over 3,000, mm-hmm. 26 touchdowns, to eight interceptions. So yes. he didn't have a bad year. Remember Sean Payton infamously benched him towards the end of the year because of all that contractual mm-hmm. shit? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Would have to pay him a little bit more like per games and all that shit. Listen, I like Russ, man. I, I was I was on that let Russ cook shit. I thought Russ I thought Russ was me and my man shout out to my man Lawrence. Me and Lawrence always said this Russ is not a running quarterback. He's just a quarterback who could run. You know what I mean? And he made some mistakes the whole shit with Pete Carroll with, with the with the Malcolm Barton exception. I get all that. But I say that to say this man you gotta they really don't fuck with you if they're gonna dead you and be on the hook for $86 million in cap space. Mm-hmm. Cool. what's your thoughts on the situation, man? Bro, shit is wild. <laughs> and I, and, <clears throat> yo, and, and before I even get to, to, okay. to, to, to why, but like, bro, homie on the list, yo, there's a stat out there, bro. Homie's on the list <laughs> for the top. There's like a top 10 or top 12 most dead cap space hits. Yes. Yo, Russell Wilson's on that shit twice. Yeah, twice, bro. Yep, I'm looking at that same list right now. Mm-hmm. He's on that shit twice, and what's crazy yeah. is that his 2023 season was not that bad at all, bro. Mm-hmm. It was basically up to par with some of his best seasons in Seattle. Mm-hmm. So, like, that just goes to show, like, number one, they I don't think they had even a good team, man. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't have a good team. Like, their, their best wide receiver was who? J- Jerry Judy? Right? Like, yep. if I'm not bugging, like, they mm-hmm. had no running back. Like yeah, yeah. the defense was trash because Von Miller was gone and they had nothing. Like they and 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 that's not I'm not even like sticking up for him, but he's gotta be like behind behind closed doors. He must be a piece of shit, bro. Like he's <laughs> got he's there's gotta be some type of character. I don't know, Sierra brainwashing him. Oh, you heard, <laughs> <laughs> no, you heard not to cut you off. You heard about the whole separating himself from the team. He wanted his own office, he wanted to fight private, all, all this diva shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like if me, if, uh, let's say us three, we're, we're, we're a team, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say we gotta start doing like live shows all over the country, right? I go, Ed, fuck that. Q, fuck that. 
I want my own. I want my own private shit. I want my own office. Y'all niggas huddle up in the lunchroom. Y'all niggas fly coach. I'm, you know what I mean? Like y'all niggas gonna be looking at me like weird. We supposed to be a team. So that, you treating us like WNBA players? That O line don't, <laughs> don't, don't block as hard. You know what I'm saying? They let that fucking yeah, defensive yeah, end not. run through that hole. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just, you know, he. I think he got gas, man. Russell, don't get gassed. You feel what I'm saying? So Russell, don't get gassed. <laughs> my bad. I had to, I had to get that out there. My fault. Nah, man, it's all good. But like, he had a good season, man. Like, yeah. it just obviously all that. You know what I mean? Like, cause they're this, they're this shit. We know. Like, we we know we we know certain things that they allowed the media to tell. You know, the fans and the media <laughs> base. But I guarantee you, there's much more. But that 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 went on and conversations that were spoke, it's gonna get put out there. I guarantee you people are gonna speak about it, but not right now. But in the weeks to come, there's gonna there's gonna be other shit out there. Same thing with like the Giants and Wink. We heard rumors of mm-hmm. dumb clashing out. Next thing yeah. you know, two weeks later, the niggas had an argument. Somebody cursed out the other one. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be more to come to the light of why this really happened. Because to let him go like that and lose all that money. It's it's crazy because like I, at that point I would just traded him or something, man. And, and I don't know. That's just that's just a bugged out business move, man. It's it's crazy. Yo, it's a lot of it's a lot of money. Yo, he got cut even before he started that five year extension that, that he signed after being traded yeah, from the Seahawks. That's, that's crazy. Payton, Sean Payton's arrogant ass put fucking Jared Stidham up there. Who? <laughs> I was like, like, who? Belichick wanted to start over Cam Newton if you guys remember a couple years back. Oh my god, bro! Stidham, um, tripping, tripping, bro. I gotta put some of this on Sean Payton, man. Sean Payton is I used to like Sean Payton when he was with when he was with the Saints. Yeah. I thought he was a coach. He was also with the Giants. He was a coach in the Giants. Mm-hmm. He, it's like he came into into the Broncos because he was highly touted and, and you know a lot of people wanted him. Mm-hmm. He came to the Broncos and he just had this air of arrogance about him, man. Mm-hmm. Like, like, he had the savior complex. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, you got one shit, dog. Like you ain't mm-hmm. as much as I shit on Bill Belichick, you ain't Bill Belichick, dog. Mm-hmm. That's not mm-hmm. You're not Tom Coughlin, you're not fucking um Andy Reid, you're not, you know. Shit, he's not Dick Vermeil, son. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so you got one chip, man. Relax, bro. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. I, th- I think I think Sean, I think him, Sean Payton uh, had it in for Russ, man. He he had he didn't, pre- want, he didn't want it from the beginning. He didn't want it from the beginning. He had a preconceived notion about Russell, mm-hmm. and he didn't and he didn't let their relationship. Um, yeah, you know, sure. unfold for himself. You know what I'm saying? He, he listened to everyone else. And uh listen, 